Hi, I'm Senator Kate, and today's story is Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Panzi woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. Little Jim didn't like that. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. So there's Jim and there's Norman. Norman thinks Jim is grumpy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim tried to loosen up. See, there's Marabou, there's Norman, and there's Jim. Then he ran into Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Well, why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his eyebrows. Then he tripped over a snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. So we have Norman, Snake, and Jim. See, he's smiling. Finally, Jim looked happy, but he didn't feel happy inside. Hmm. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. But little Jim just didn't feel like swinging or singing. You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie in the grass. You should stomp your feet. All the animals are coming up with ideas for Jim to feel happy inside. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun 
Or you should dance. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim. And he beat his chest. And he stormed off. Jim felt sorry. He felt a little sorry for shouting at everyone. Well, mostly he just felt sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really, really sad, something happened. He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with the porcupine, said Norman. Look, got some porcupine's quills stuck in him. Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Oh yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. Just for now, I just need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. You have days like that? I have days like that. And Jim already felt a little bit better. The End Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang